May I now call upon Dr. Prachi Sate, who steered the mission with utmost commitment and dedication and brought the intensive care unit to its present stature. Wouldn't we all love to hear from this amazing woman about the challenges conquered and the height scaled in this pursuit of excellence? So we'd like to invite Dr. Prachi Sate with a huge round of applause, please. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Dear and respected dignitaries on the dais, Dr. Farooq Udwadia, who is my role model since the time I started my medical career, and of course for many of us. Sri Rahul Kumarji Bajaj, thank you for your kind words. He's a father figure for Ruby Hall family, as you have seen it. Dr. Parvez Grant, a senior friend, philosopher, and guide since the time I started ICU. And Mr. Bomi Boat, the dynamic CEO, you have heard him, who amazes me always with the futuristic understanding of anything, any problems related to health care. Dr. R. S. Wadia and Dr. R. B. Gulati, I'm really privileged for you to have a, as a teacher all along. Many senior teachers are in the audience, and I'm really thankful to all of them. They all are not mere dignitaries, but they all have been my guides and advisors throughout the journey of ICU. And of course, all of you in the audience, the colleagues from various specialities with whom we manage very difficult cases in ICU day in and day out, patients and their families, and of course, our ICU team, the doctors, nurses, and support staff. We planned the day today, and we call it a celebration of 25 years. But it is actually the expression of our gratitude to all of you. The ICU is a serious matter, not only for patients and patient families, but even for us, the doctors and the staff who is working in the ICU. So how can we even talk about celebration in the usual terminology? We've worked hard for all the patients who are here in the audience who have really come out of the very difficult test of life. But perhaps we worked harder for those who defined the boundaries of science and went past. They're gone. So what is it that we are celebrating? Is it survival? Not only the survival. But the ICU is a place of worship, worship of constant endeavor, worship of hard work, application of science and art for the betterment of human life. Yes, and that is the spirit of ICU. And that is what we are celebrating today. It is this spirit of critical care medicine where we try to bring order in physiological chaos that the patients land up with. It is not only the machines, technology, or protocols, but understanding of human life and the ethical behavior in the ICU that is what perhaps makes us unique and we would want to carry it forward. We know in many scientific papers, it has been proven beyond doubt that the time is the essence of good outcomes in ICU. Golden hour is the essence. It is said that time is brain, time is heart. In accidents, golden hour is important. In sepsis, we deal with the patient with early management sepsis bundles. But what comes in the way of meaningful recovery of critically ill patients is the fear of ICU. And because of that fear, the time is lost. Fear of ICU is not only in the mind of lay people, but also in the mind of medical fraternity. And that is what needs to be removed. Hence, we decided to come out with a book, which is essentially a compilation of various experiences of treating specialists, treating doctors, the challenging cases, not only from the point of view of doctor, but even the patients have given their point of view during this 
uh, challenging cases. Patients have described their near-death experiences and their experience in ICU. The book also contains the historical account of development of critical care at Ruby Hall Clinic, keeping in pace with the developing scenario or landscape of intensive care in India. The book also contains the experiences of our alumni, the doctors who came with dreamy eyes to ICU, choosing critical care as their career and went out with flying colors. There are accounts of challenging cases, there are accounts of doctors who experienced ICU either as patients themselves or the member of the families of the patients. We have put together perspective from various supporting departments, bringing out the interwoven fabric of the ICU as well. So, we take pleasure today to present this book created at the 25 years milestone for our multidisciplinary ICU by a motivated team. And the book is named as The New Lease of Life. We can scroll the book and we can get the book for unveiling. At this moment, I would also like to thank our generous donors, Mr. and Mrs. Rasiklal Dhariwal and Janavi had been very generous to give us donations for renovation of ICU. And I have been strictly warned by Mr. Bajaj not to mention about his contribution, but he has been not only a generous donor, but also an advisor for renovation of ICU. Thank you very much.